Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, playing some more TerraTech. Now this started as, zero, as version 0 0.7.0.2 0 .0 and it turned into infinitely creative 0 0.7.0.2 <laughs> So yeah, like I said before in my last video, the bugged out missions, I got sick of it, had enough three or four restarts in two days, screw it, not doing it no more. I said I was probably going to make a, a creative save, an infinitely creative save, and that's exactly what I did. So as you can see, I got all of the monies, $160 million. Those, that's just my vehicle stuff. Licenses is all maxed out. And I think I'm going to leave this as the starting. So you got four little turrets protecting a power plant, basically, in your skew. Now, honestly, if you really don't mind leaving stuff around on your radar, I'd honestly leave these here. It's a decent little spot. Not too much should be able to take it out. And when you're gone, nothing will really spawn around it, usually. So it could be a good little starting point. But the reason I say leave it is if you leave the skew here and you just go uh, like that and like oh yeah here's the other thing infinite everything now I've checked a couple times I haven't noticed any blocks I missed but hey I'm not saying it didn't happen but anyway what you could do is go like that close that and this is the one you take with you so while this is on you can use your inventory no matter where you are at any given time and you don't have to worry about losing the one that's with you so see I can go all the way over here and yeah this little bike I'm gonna leave here I think he's gonna be the main tech that I leave behind so I got the two of the little guys teamed up so but as you can see I'm not really near my base anymore inventory's still there so it doesn't really have a range thing so I'm thinking that's pretty damn decent where'd my little guy go he gets stuck somewhere. Yeah, this guy actually clips along not too shabby. 70? Oh, you dirty bugger. What are you shooting at? My little guy. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. He's only got health. Why am I shooting a tree? Oh, it gives me the excite bite. He'll help him out. So why isn't he shooting back? Get after him. How's he shooting? Yeah, I think the AI might have got a little loving on this update too, because in the last update he wouldn't even follow me. He just sat there like a dumbass. Or he'd wait until I blew everything up and then he'd come in and help. But this time he's working. He's putting in time for me, so hey, I'm loving that. Look at that, eh? Where's he going though? Coming around? Oh, he is too. Look at this. This smart little guy. He's coming right around all that stuff. He's not too great on the turning and driving still, but hey, he's got back to me. I'm liking that. But yeah, like I was saying, you leave the one skew over there, bring one with you. You don't even need to clean up, really, because you got infinite blocks. In almost infinite. I wonder how you do infinite money. Hmm. Maybe that's the next one I try to figure out, eh? <laughs> but yeah, like, if you guys want her, there's the save you can use her. I'll be posting it up on the Reaper's Playground thread. So, as it goes, I don't know if I'm going to have a link directly to this, but it will be there. It'll be near the end, the last page kind of thing for now. Look at this guy right in here, eh? Actually, let's see how the turrets handle themselves. Very poorly. Okay, these guys aren't great. I don't like them. That's the AI turret. It does nothing. It aims, but it will not shoot. Why not? See, this guy, he doesn't like them. They were too close. Aw, oh, you didn't blow up my missile. So I guess I'll have to respawn this guy. <laughs> so 
So yeah, okay, so maybe this isn't such a great defended base right yet, but it eventually should be alright. But they shouldn't be able to really get in at it too easy. These bubbles bounce people off like mad when they're not friendly. Oh, I guess it was just the one missile that blew up. Well, let's fix that. But before we get any farther into anything, I would like to ask that if you do like what you see, to throw the like down below, to uh, subscribe, you know, that's always cool. That way you get the latest videos I have to offer that you may be and hopefully will be interested in. Or, you know, just even jump down into the comments. Even if you just want to say hello and nothing more, right on. I'd love to hear from you. But as always, feedback helps. It is great to get, because then I can see where everyone knows I need to improve. Because, like I always say, I'm still learning this stuff, even though I've been doing it for a while. Doesn't mean I can't learn something new and how to do something different, better, more efficient, all that good stuff. And another thing, remember, if you guys have texts that you think are cool and original... I got my showcase auditions, there's a thread down below in the comments, post your text there and I'll see what I can do with them and there will be a video made for them. And you just have to, well that's why subscribing would help, eh? I get a little notice saying, hey, my showcase video is done. But yeah, I just basically want to start, kind of show you guys what I got going on here. It's nothing really too excitingly new that I've done with the creative saves we got the money we got all the blocks we got the infinite uh inventory there was a few other things i might try in a different one but but anyway with this save you can now well let's just do it this way you get all of it and yes you even get color blocks and let's just do this Experimental. Yeah, I never even tried this one yet. Usually I give this one a try every time just to see if it works. Because this is the one I really want to work. <laughs> because that's mobile power. Generating mobile power. But I don't think it works yet. Doesn't look like it does anyway. It's not moving. I got full battery so it's not going to help me. Can't really tell. I'm going to assume it doesn't work though. <laughs> Same with this one. These, I think, they don't work either. They're supposed... Oh, I do only have this. I gotta tune them. Those two. That's the ones I gotta bugger with. So, okay, I'm gonna fix that before I post the save. <coughs> and there's a fellow Terra Techian. I don't know if that's the new title maybe we should go by. It's a little long, but I don't know. Now, I'm not sure. I can't remember his name very good. But this inspired builder goes by CDR Ferrets. Sorry if I got the name wrong. But he had asked me and uploaded a save. And asked me if I wanted to check it out. And when I told him I was making a new creative save, he asked me if I could use the seed from his world for this one. So this was the seed I used. It was TerraTech space TerraTech was the seed was the seed, and so far it's been pretty good. There's a nice little variety of biomes around, and should be good for exploring. Oh, I got stuck. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good start. But what I was intending on doing in here is to play with the crafting block. Because I was going to wait until a good stable build where they had all the crafting stuff in. But then it took so freaking long. I didn't want to wait no more. So as soon as I got crafting the missions bugged out, I made this. And since bu crafting bugged out, this is the only way I'm going to get all the crafting blocks for a bit. I don't like to wait. In the R&D, it hasn't been too friendly to me. A little laggy, a little staticky. I don't know if it's my computer or what's going on, but that's why there's no music. I turned the music way down so I wouldn't get static and junk. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make me a little base. And if I do a good job, it'll have all three scrappers. It will have all three fabricators. Why am I sliding sideways? 
What are you doing, you crazy nut? But anyway, I think I'm just going to go over this way a little bit. Just over here. Just to get away from that. I'm going to make my base here. It's not going to be big. It's not going to be massive. Just something that will hopefully be cheap, easy to throw together, and I don't know about l lower grades, but that's usually hard to do because of all the really good stuff on the higher grades. So I figure we'll give it a little bit of power. It's usually a good idea. I always like doing this for some reason. Just filling up in these little corners. And usually that's enough of batteries for quite a little base. And just square it off so you got lots of attach points. It sucks when you need one and you don't got one. Alright. So what I'm thinking is first off I need some conveyors because I kind of want it to come around the center I'm not sure how good this is really gonna work just because I haven't really played with this system a lot just enough to get an idea of it <coughs> okay because well you know really I shouldn't even do it like that let's do it like this so I'm gonna put one of them one of them come on upside down some of them. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. And some of them. So I think that'll be good for there. And seeing as it is an infinitely creative save, I'm gonna use the best parts that I can. Just makes sense. Now this might come back to haunt me. Who knows? We'll find out then. <laughs> I made a base here when I first opened this save up. It had a whole whack of resources. I must have had like... I think it was 12 big silos full. And man did she get leggy. <laughs> or real leggy. There, I'll kick that that way so it's going the right way. So now, we got our receivers bringing them in. And then what I've been finding really good is to have some storage. So I think I'm going to use these... No, you know what? I did say best parts, didn't I? So I'm going to put one there, one there, and one there. I want to be able to hold some stuff. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do it like that. Oh no, I know what I was going to do. I forgot something. <coughs> because this is crafting, and it needs to be crafty, I want to have the ability to scrap blocks. I don't know how I forgot that. That's one of the things I've been waiting for the most. Now if we only had a mobile scrapper. You can't scrap nothing on the go. That sucks. That was the main reason I wanted scrapping. So I could clean it up as I, as I found it when I didn't want it. Well, maybe we'll get a version of mo a mobile scrapper or something. But I freaking hope so. I do. Alright, what did I want to do for that? There's the one scrapper. Let's turn it around so it makes a little sense. Uh, something like that should be good. 
That's defabricator, refinery, scrubber. And like so. And I think the GeoCore one will fit on here the wrong dang way. So we'll put it like this. No, not like that. Come on. Oh. Yeah. There. So there's our three scrappers all feeding one line. And it can come in, go around, go down, come around to the silos. Okay, so now we got that tuned up. Now all we really need is some refineries and so far it's just GSO and um, Venture that have refineries so it kind of keeps things simple doesn't it? I think that's the way I want uh, No, I don't want them touching I don't think I want to keep things separated by just a little bit Just so hopefully it's a little easier to see and clearer, nicer to use, maybe. I still got used to all the pictures in the menus there. They change so much. Some of them, it's like, gee, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> and we'll maybe bring this out just to here. And now we'll put, what do I want, fabricator, see the thing I've been having an issue with is when things get into the silo and you want to sell them, it doesn't really seem to give you too much in the way of being able to pull stuff out of the silos just to sell. So I'm almost thinking like, this is a very basic, very easy base to make but it does leave you kind of limited to what you can do like I guess you could probably dump one of these on here and it'll pull stuff out I think but that's not really what I want I want something that works but easy so really what I'm oh I guess that ain't gonna work out good eh make a part scrap a part <laughs> <coughs> so yeah that's not right let's not do that not like there. So we'll bring it back that way. Just to give it a bit of a layout. It's not a small base, really. It's just an effective one, I hope. That's gonna spit it right out onto the base. No good. So we'll come out, nope, let's actually attach the block because that works better. Yeah, we'll come and bring it out to there. Uh, yeah. Come on, let me have it. I would like to use this. Like so. And a fabricator for the geocore. Don't be a dick, man. Stop. There. So there's three scrappers, three fabricators. Oh, only got two refineries. That ain't right. Let's get one of these in here. The Venture Refinery. There, we got three refineries. Got more than three batteries. So I also, like always, we all know that we need health. So I'm going to put, let's say this, under there. And this one under there. Is that close enough? No. Almost. Not quite. Not quite. I'll go like that. Yeah, that's better. Oh, just a little small. I could use the GeoCore one. That thing's massive. It'd probably do quite a bit. 
but it's a spacing thing. You got to account for it when you start building a lot of the time. Or you end up with something that's hard to use. Get in there. There. Like so. That's overlapping for the health, so that's okay. This one here. I don't know why that guy's friggin' moon. I hadn't touched him. And like that. Does that do us good? Uh, it's not bad. I'll just put one of these. Oh, can I put one in between? No. I'll put one there then. Okay, now shields. The shields will keep us alive. Now I know I don't have many batteries on this thing for the amount of bubbles that are going on it. That's why I was hoping it would have stayed a little smaller, but... That's no friggin' good. Let's put that there. That's a little better anyway. It appeals to my sensibilities. Get this guy out of the frickin' way, like Jesus, man! Jesus! So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of walk around here and shield myself in. Keep all them little pests out of here. But that's what they are. They come in here and they try and wreck all my cool stuff, and then I got nothing. It really bothers me. She kick them right into nuts. Right in the nuts. And yeah, I'm gonna need one up here. So that kind of looks like it should be fairly good. I know it's a little close on some spots with the overlaps of the bubbles. But I think it should be alright. So that's my little base. And yeah, another thing I noticed, if you, you have a block selected, and you go to uh, click this to get rid of the menu. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Before it was dropping the blocks. Like the one that was still in hand. Okay, so now we got that. Wish it wasn't dark though. Would have been a little nicer if it hadn't gone to the night. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to load some of the scrapper. These should be the scrappers. So I'm just going to... Yeah, let's do power. There. So, what's a good one? Let's scrap some of these. Maybe? There they go. Um, some of these? Oh yeah, I forgot you can load them right into these. I think. We don't get the friggin... Oh, uh, maybe not. Let's drop it in front. I was loading them like the silo. Like, just putting them right on it at one point. But anyway, we'll just do that. And for Venture... Let's... What did I do on the first one? That... We'll do a repair bubble. Yeah, I can see there. I can load it into that one. Man, they hold, I think, I'm guessing 10. I haven't counted. Just seems to be about right. So that's awesome. I like that. So there. Now all I need is a harvester. Oh, there it goes. Drop the block after. <laughs> if I had a harvester, then I could load this side up. But basically, it'll run around that little track. Get caught up in here. And then, when I come over... No, oh, no, no. We're not friggin' doing that. I want these to scrap. See, this one, it seems to get caught. Like, it ain't... I don't think it's working right now. I 
what one's wrong? Is something messing it up? Or is there just that many it's passing out of oh maybe it is. Just waiting its turn, okay. So I'll leave that alone for a second. Oh no 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 no. Did they fix these yet? No, they're a joke still. They nerfed them back a while ago and they haven't got around to fixing them, I guess. I wish they would. Those used to be the best ones in the game. Now I think Hawkeye is the best for the small overall size and coverability. Or their coverage. Anyway, we got a few blocks stored up there. Let's see if we can make something out of each. We're going to make some... Not looking good, that's for sure. Scrap the wrong stuff. Oh, well, let's try that. See if it's got anything it can make. Oh, let's try this one. See, that's the plum bite. I don't have the wood tool. I got no wood. That's a horrible thing to have to say, you know. Oh, that one might be a good one. Let's make some of them. Is it coming? Oh, I think they're moving. Okay, we need a geocore. What do we want to make for geocore? No. Uh uh. Huh. Does they all take wood? Oh, I got. Oh, it's the green ones I got. I thought those were the hydrocarbons. Dude, what the heck is going to use the green stuff? So I got a bunch of them. I don't have those other things. Shite. <laughs> I should though. Uh, let's make some anyway. We'll see how that works out. Cause like I'm scrapping them right here. What the hell's going on? It's all bunged up. Am I full? I'm full. Start crafting stuff, you lazy punk. What are you doing to me? Okay. Well, I guess for this situation. You might need one of these. Hmm. Now where do I put it that it doesn't screw everything up? I pretty much got to have it before the silos, but I'm going to want a filter on it. Because then I can turn it off and I won't just keep selling all my good stuff. Cause that'd piss you off. Go to all the trouble to collect the stuff and do all this wonderful things and then it just screws you over. I don't get why the, the fabricator ain't making something by now though. That's kind of bugging me. I do not understand. There. Nothing. Well, I managed to find a few things that I had the stuff for, so I ended up being able to craft the mobile generator for GSO, the JAWS wheels for GeoCore, and the battery for Venture. Now, I had to scrap a few other things. And one thing I noticed, I loaded this one, like I actually just placed them right into it, and I had ten of them going, and all I wanted to do is juggle them around. So I had to take them all back out and just drop them on the ground so it would pick them up. So it worked after that. So now I think I got her figured out decent. And all this can just funnel through, fill up my silos. When they get full, I can kick that on to sell the excess or just let it wait until I use up the stuff. Now I got a little different mix. I'm not sure what I, I would build now, but I'm not going to go through all that. So basically this is what you can get. And like this is actually a pretty substantial base. I could probably make something way smaller. More direct, less storage kind of thing. And I really only need one refinery, so I you know, a lot of 
a lot of space saving ideas can go into here and it's for that reason why I think we need the mobile versions of these blocks because I would hate to think I'm restricted to always having a static base in one spot that no matter how far I go I gotta come back to I don't like that idea because if everyone has followed along with my videos long enough I've been wanting to make what I call the epic save and now what that would entail is me having all my monsters in one save spread out all over the world most of my monsters they were mobile bases bigger than most people build even a static base and now uh, since this they all need a huge rework or just to be rebuilt but I would like to still make that save but without mobile generate or uh, mobile refining and scrapping and all that there's no sense it takes half the challenge out of this game for me honestly it's really hurting my love for it <laughs> for the crafting part because I really don't like being stuck in one spot because there's nothing really important about any given spot unless I got a rock formation around where I can build like my big elevator so I would really like to have that elevator that build that setup right near a massive base so I want to make a kingdom that's the main thing for my epic save. It's to have a kingdom with an elevated monorail that can transport techs and whatever to anywhere in that I have a base location. Like a massive build idea is what like we're talking days and days and months of building that are gonna go into this. But as far as the mobile bases, I all the ones that I've made in the R and D I wanted to bring into it. Hence the reason for so much money. Maybe even need more, I don't know. I got a bunch of them and they're expensive. Maybe not so much now, but... But yeah. So, as you can see, it doesn't have to be massive. And it can sort through these. And bring them down, refine them if it's needed. And only if it's needed, so that's awesome. We don't have to have 20 friggin' silos. One for unrefined for each, and one for refined for each. So now we just need, really all you need is one of these. As long as you got the right combination of stuff in it. So that covers this base pretty good. I think I'm about done with this one. I'm not really looking to make too much more of a demonstration with it. The next thing, if I do make another base anytime real real soon it's either going to be huge or it's going to be tiny see how small I can make it so what I'm going to do with this is uh, ha -ha, I love doing that <laughs> I just like the way they all fall apart oh and this guy there's one thing I did want to do to this over here is I wanted to put some other AI on these because these turret AI, as we've seen in the first part, are stupid as dirt. Dirt has got a, uh, like the advantage on these right now. They were getting a face full of lead thrown at them and they wouldn't even fire back. They aimed and that was it. Nope. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Why'd I do that? Don't want, I don't like the extra things on my radar if I don't have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this follow, 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 and follow. So now that should actually do something, I hope. Or they'll just want to look at me all the time. So I'm going to see if I can lure someone back here. Hope nothing gets too nuts. Come on, you big dummy. I'm too fast for you, too fast. Oh, they're already working on him. <laughs> He's out of here. Screw that noise. I'm out. So, yeah, that's way better. <laughs> Definitely like that. So, yeah, the, the AI turret, uh, rotating anchor, AI rotating anchor, I think it might even actually be its real name. Let's see if I can find out here. Not going to give me anything. Tell me what you are. 
It will not. That's a big screw you, is what it's saying. It's a GSO anchored AI module. It's not very intelligent. Completely artificial. But yeah, for now, just throw one of the other AI cabs on. Seems to work fairly good. So with that being said, I think I'm going to leave this one here. But before I do go, I would like to thank you for just coming and hanging out. You know, you guys are what make YouTube so awesome for me. I can make videos and whatever, but really, no one's watching them. What's the sense, right? And where's the fun and no one participating, you know? Gotta have someone to communicate with. But also, if you did like what you saw, I would ask that you throw a like down below. Throw some comments too. Even if it's just to say hi, that would be awesome. If you got any feedback, suggestions, whatever, I'd love to hear them. The feedback is awesome. It always helps. Well, 98% of the time it helps. Or, you know, you could just subscribe. That way you can find out when I have a new video out that hopefully and maybe you might even be interested in. And as always, I'm trying to remember to add this at the end of all of them. If you have a cool and original tech, <coughs> I got a thread down below for the showcase auditions. So if you have one of those cool original techs, post it there if you would like a video made of it. And I will do my best to give it a really good showing, a proper showing. And I'll probably break it too so we can see what's in it. Now when I say cool and original, I do ask that if you're going to be putting small little text like this, put one bigger one with it too, please. Because that's what we all really are going to have the hardest time to figure out. These little guys, you can look at the picture and see it, right? And I'm more of a big tech person. I've actually been fighting to make these small ones. This one here, actually, my son built. And I think this thing is awesome. Me and him, we had a blast with it. I just added the AI today. But, anyway, yeah, and I'll also, this uh, creative save is going to be posted at the Reaper's Playground thread. I'm going to do my damnedest to remember to put a link directly to this down in the comments. <coughs> or with the rest of the links. But if, you, if I happen to forget, which, believe me, I forget more than I like to admit. It can be found near the, the last page of the Reaper's Playground right now. So, I forget, it's like page 11 or something. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so, I think that's about all I really wanted to say and thought I needed to say. And So, until next time, everybody, keep being awesome, keep being creative, and keep having a good one. Bye.